Another completely different use of Channel Combiner is to do color space conversions. Most effects in After Effects are based around RGB processing, but let's say you want to process the hue, lightness, and saturation channels, or the YUV, luminance and two combined color channels. Well, to do that, you need two copies of Channel Combiner surrounding an effect. Let me show you an example. I'm going to turn Channel Combiner off for now and just turn on Levels, Effect, Color Correction, Levels. Now, in this case, where I'm working on an RGB image, there's limits to how much processing I can do cleanly. For example, if I was to really push the gamma hard, you see it started getting really harsh posterized reds and yellows in my final image. Not very attractive when I'm just trying to create a very dark, shadowy scene. Let's take a different approach. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to take Channel Combiner and turn it on. I'm going to use it to convert RGB to YUV. This means the Y, the luminance, will be placed in the red channel, and the U and V will appear in the green and blue channels. Then I need to duplicate Channel Combiner, put it after my Levels effect, and have it convert back from YUV to RGB. Now the purpose of doing this is I can now use Levels to operate on the YUV channels directly. I'll select the red channel, which is my luminance, and now let's start playing with a gamma of just the luminance channel, leaving the color the same. Now as I go towards a very dark and shadowy scene, you see that my colors stay intact. They don't go posterized. Instead, I get a very nice shadowing of this image by working strictly on the luminance channel. So that's one of the reasons you may want to work on these channels individually. Let me give you another example. I'm going to turn off this footage for now and turn on a piece of blue screen footage processed through DV, and I've got a lot of edge artifacts. You can see that I've got a lot of chunkiness, particularly around the edge of the arms and the red shirt and all this. Go back down to normal size. Some people, when they key DV or HDV footage, prefer to blur the color information to help smooth up those edges, but keep the luminance information intact. Let me show you the implications of that. I'm going to apply my first copy of Channel Combiner, have it do, an RGB to YUV conversion, then duplicate it and have it convert from YUV back to RGB. In between, I'm going to put a special blur effect called Channel Blur, and we discuss this in a separate pair of movies. Now, by putting Channel Blur in between these two channel combiner effects, the red blurriness will affect the Y channel, the green, the U channel, and the blue, the V channel. If I was to blur the red channel, I'd be blurring the luminance, and you can see how quickly the entire image blurs out when I do that. However, if I start blurring the color information, you'll notice that a lot of sharpness remains in the image. I'm just blurring the edges of the color transitions. So, what a lot of people do is put a very small amount of blurriness in the color channels. So just say even one or two pixels in the horizontal direction only, left and right, to smooth out these edge artifacts. But by not blurring the luminance information, they're going to keep maximum sharpness in the image. People will then take this process stack with just the color information blurred and key that to try to get a better key out of DV footage. So that's the second use of Channel Combiner, color space conversions. In the third movie, we're going to discuss this mysterious straight to pre-multiplied option.